Hello guys, my name is King Chiagozi. Welcome to today's edition of Piano Music and Entertainment. Today I'll be telling you, talking about octave in music, or let's narrow it down to piano specifically. Now, generally speaking, in music, if you check your dictionary and other web sources, you see all kinds of definitions. But I'm not here to bore you with musical technologies. I want to show you the practical aspect of it. But just know that generally speaking, an octave is supposed to mean the distance between musical notes. It can be a difference of 12 notes, it can be 8 or something like that. But let's leave the definition and just go straight ahead so that you understand what we're talking about. Look at the keyboard now. For example, this is your C sharp, right? This is your D sharp, D flat, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. And then you now get another C. Now, if this is my starting point, which is C sharp, the difference between or the, all the keys that I will play before I will get the next C sharp, another key that looks like this, is what you call an octave. For example, if you watch your keyboard now, the black keys they are in twos and threes. Two, three, two, three. Two, three, two, three, two, three. Now, among those ones that are double or those ones that are two in number, the first among them is called C sharp, right? All right. Now, all these keys that I will see here, before I will get the next C sharp key, all these things belong to one octave. That means their sounds are similar. So that means, for example, this is C sharp now. I don't know if you can see, okay. At least you can see my hand now. This is a C sharp note, right? This is another C sharp note. Now, all these keys that I will get from this C sharp where I started, before I will get the next C sharp, in keyboard again from this place to this place all of them is one they are one octave so let's count how many keys are supposed to be in an octave if my starting point was here that means one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve before i get the next c sharp that means this is one octave for me so the difference between octaves is usually that if the octave is higher it will still be the same key the same tune but the pitch will not be higher for example this is your do did you see the pitch? This do on a higher octave, so the sound will be like this. Did you see how high it went? This is another C sharp, another do. Did you get what I did now? Now it's not a must that your octave must start from is because my major key is C sharp. You may be a player that is, you may, your favorite key may be key F or something like that. The same principle still applies to it. So if this is your starting point, this is your F key. All these keys that you'll be playing or you'll be touching before you get the next F key that is similar to your starting point. This is an octave now. I hope you understood what I did. Alright, see you in the next video.